Sometimes, when making a video, you have a perfect still image you want to incorporate into it, but still images tend to be boring and slow down the pace of your video. Today, I'm going to show you how to apply the Ken Burns effect and spice it up a bit with freeze frames and frame swap to animate your still images. Hi, and welcome back to Final Cut Pro Thursdays. New tutorial videos released weekly. If you find these videos helpful, let me know by liking, commenting, and subscribing. So, let's open up Final Cut Pro and try out the Ken Burns effect. I'll start a new project, select my image, drop it into my timeline, and press Shift-Z to expand it to fit the timeline. From the drop-down menu, I'll select Crop and click the Ken Burns button. If you've ever used the Ken Burns effect in Final Cut Pro, you know you have a start and an end frame. I'll resize and position my start frame at the bottom of my picture. Now I'll set up my end frame in the top left corner of my image. I can preview my animation by pressing the preview button in the top corner. If you find the movement a little slow, you can adjust the speed by trimming your clip. I'm going to speed mine up some by trimming my clip. A nice simple way to animate a still image, but I'm not done yet. What I want to do is pause, then pan over the crowd, pause again, and then pull out on the image. By default, the Ken Burns effect doesn't allow you to pause or hold, but it will trick it by adding a freeze frame. I'll press the down arrow to go to the end of my clip, and press the left arrow key to go back to the last frame of my Ken Burns effect. I'll press Option F to add a freeze frame and trim it to about one second long. Now I'll select my original clip, press Command C to copy it, move my skimmer to the end, and press Command V to paste it. I'll select this clip and click on the crop button to bring up the Ken Burns effect. What I need to do is swap my start and end frames so that the start of my clip matches up to the previous freeze frame. I can do that by clicking this frame swap button up here. Now I'll select my end frame and move it over to the right side of my screen for a camera pan. I'll click the done button and review my clip. Now I want to hold there for a second, then pull the camera out for a wide shot. I'll move the skimmer to the end of my project, press the left arrow key to select the last frame, and press option F to add a freeze frame. I'll trim my freeze frame to about one second, select and copy the clip before it, and paste it at the end of my project. With my clip selected, I'll press the crop button again to bring up the Ken Burns effect, then swap the start and end frames to match it to my freeze frame. To add the camera pullout look, I resize and position my end window to fit the whole image. Click done and add another freeze frame to the end of my project. So what I did is I added freeze frames to the stock Ken Burns effect to help me achieve the look I wanted in Final Cut Pro. This is just one example of how you can combine tools and techniques in Final Cut Pro to help you tell your story. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and share. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. New Final Cut Pro tutorial videos release every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. Thanks for watching. Come back next week for another great tutorial.